Hey, well, Mark World Entertainment. And it looks like another beloved iconic series is going to get the woke treatment as the X-Files is getting a new development with a new take on the series by none other than Black Panther director Ryan Coogler. And what is his big difference with the series? A diverse cast. That's right. A diverse cast. Yahoo. So Chris Carter was talking in a podcast to celebrate basically the 30 years anniversary of X-Files. And he was discussing how he had planned to make an X-Files animated series that would be in a comedy series a spin-off comedy series which was called the x-files albuquerque uh, and the idea behind that was that the potential series uh, would have centered on a group of misfit agents who investigated x-files cases too wacky ridiculous and downright dopey for Mulder and Scully to bother with. And they were going to be basically the X-Files B team. Um, that doesn't seem to be moving forward. They did write a pilot episode. But by the looks of it, that's not happening. And I'm not sure. Well, it says... That was spoken about in 2020. So the Fox deal went through at that stage to Disney, I think. And that's the other thing to keep in mind. Disney, the killer of franchises at this stage, are the ones running this show. Because they now own X-Files. But Chris Carter himself then teased that this is possibly happening this reboot from Ryan Coogler as he said I just spoke to a young man Ryan Coogler who is going to remount the X-Files with a diverse cast I've never heard the term remount being used surely it's just reboot and he also said, so he's got his work cut out for him because we covered so much territory. Now, I'm curious with that statement of the, he's got his work cut out because we covered so much. I'm going to assume he's talking about the craziness, the stories, like the aliens and the ghosts and ghoulies and the goblins and everything else. Or is he talking about, well, we covered like, a diverse cast so he's got his work cut out for him don't know but what a stupid stupid conversation to start with for this oh he's going to make us well and it's going to be a diverse cast and the reason he's saying that is because that's clearly what Ryan Coogler said that his new take will be diversity Ugh, how boring and I say boring because it just means no way she's allowed <laughs> let's face it we all know it to be true would you be more interested in hearing hey I spoke to a guy Ryan Coogler and let me tell you this guy understands X-Files he is out there he came to us and he spoke about an idea and it just absolutely captured the essence the essence of what we built back in the day he understood the chemistry between the two leads and our, the other characters the characters in the shadows he understood what it was that entrenched people to tune in week in with no it was straight to yeah, he's going to reboot it and it's going to be a diverse cast. How unexciting. And of course, the fact that this is going to be a Disney-owned X-Files 
no hope whatsoever. There's no... Now, this isn't greenlit. So, you know, clearly Chris Carter spoke to Ryan Coogler. Ryan Coogler said, hey, I'm, I'm going to develop a new X-Files. Which, number one, shows you that clearly Chris Carter was never even told. But two, that it's clearly with Disney because it's owned now by Disney but the question then would be where would Disney put it would it be a PG X-Files and be stuck on Disney Plus will they send it down the road with uh, Noah Holly's Alien series and put it on FX or would they dump it on Hulu now the interesting with the Hulu option is with Disney in absolute disarray at the moment cutting jobs <laughs> actors getting arrested firing top officials trying their best to save 5.5 billion dollars and that number will probably go up they have two options regarding Hulu which they must come to by the end of this year option one is they buy the full rights to it they own partial rights to it they would have to buy the full rights to it or option b to sell it off completely uh, I, I think they would be more inclined at this stage to sell but where will export files end up because we know it's going to be on one of the streaming platforms for them or could this potentially be one of them that the uh Iger's spoken about now that we'll make a property but we'll sell it to a competitor so could they do a new x-files and sell it to amazon or netflix time will tell but who has interest in a re booted x-files that's all about a diverse cast even though the x-files was always a diverse cast always Pfft, so boring nowadays isn't it no Mulder, no scully no wanty anyway i'll leave it there for this one so cheers and i'll catch you in the next one the truth is diversity